Hello everyone. In today's class, we will talk about the different forms of equation of lines under various conditions. Okay. So, first condition if horizontal and vertical lines are there. If horizontal line or vertical line is given, then what will be the equation of a line? Suppose that horizontal line is this, which at a distance of A from H axis or from uh, origin and one more line horizontally which is at a distance of minus a from origin. These are two horizontal lines. So what will be the equation over here? Here y equal a for the first condition and for the second condition equation of line will be y equal minus a. This is horizontal. Now, come to the vertical line. If a line is vertically which is at a distance b from origin and one more line separately which is at a distance of minus b vertically from origin, then what will be the equation of a line in this case? Can you tell me? Okay, yes. Here the equation will be x equal b or x equal minus b. Whatever be the distance. Okay, so that will be the equation of line if it is uh, vertical. Second point. Second case, point slope form. On a given line, one point let the point is P whose coordinates as x1, y1 then what will be the equation of line? In this case point slope form. In point slope form then what will be the equation of a line? Having the slope as m. This line having the slope as m. Then the equation of line will be y minus y1 equal m. Having a slope m, m multiply x minus x1. Is it clear? Okay. Now, third case, third case is if two points on a given line are given, are there so that the coordinates as fixed a point coordinates x1 y1 and coordinate of q as x2 y2 then what will be the equation of line we did in the previous exercise for m that is y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1 same concept we will use it here so instead of m we can substitute its value if two points coordinates are given. So the equation of the line in this case if two points are given then it will be y minus y1 equal. Instead of m you will uh, find out its value slope as y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1 instead of m. Add in the bracket x minus x1. Is it clear? If two points are given, then this formula is applicable. Now come to the next case. Okay. Now next case is slope intercept form. There will be two cases here. In case 1, suppose that one line intercepts y axis at point P whose coordinates as 0 and C having the slope as M. Let's try to make the formula over here. What you will get it. Uh, slope M is given and one point is given. So how will you uh, find out its uh, equation of line? That is 
y minus y1, y minus y1 equal m x minus x1, one point formula. So it will be y minus c equal mx or we can say y equal mx plus c. So this is the formula if a line intercepts y-axis. Intercepts y-axis having the slope m. So directly you can use the formula y equal mx plus c. And how this come over here? By using the equation of line for one point formula. Now let's try to make the formula for this case. If it intercepts a line, intercepts x-axis at point Q whose coordinate as d and 0. It can be any coordinate having the slope as m. So, again we will try to make the formula y minus y1 equal m x minus x1. Okay, so it will come as y equal mx minus d. mx minus d. So, this is the slope intercept formula if it intercepts at x axis having slope 1. Uh, having slope, sorry, having slope as m. Okay. Now, next case. Next case is intercept form. Intercept form if a given line intercept both x axis and y axis both x axis and y axis then what will be the equation of line for that the point let it be p and this is q let it intercepts the line intercepts x axis at point a0 or we can say which is at a distance a from origin and the coordinates of Q which intercept at Y axis as 0B which is at distance B from origin. Then the equation of line in this case if both the intercepts are given in the question then you can use the formula X upon A plus Y upon B equal 1. So, this is the equation of formula if it intercepts both x at some point. Okay. Or we can say if it intercepts both x and its coordinates are given, then we can use uh, the formula straight away x upon a. A kya hai ya pe? The uh, distance at which it intercepts at x axis. And b kya hai? The distance from origin towards y-axis. Is it clear? Okay. Now come to the next concept. Next form of equation of line. As the name suggests over normal form. Next case is normal form. Normal form means it is related to 90 degree. So the we need two condition in uh, to find out the equation of line which is in the form of normal. Suppose that one line which having a distance length of perpendicular distance from the origin from the origin to this line is P let the length of the length of distance from the origin to this line or the distance is P and which makes an angle. Ye jo line hai, normal line, which makes an angle omega with the positive direction of x axis. Remember, with the positive direction of x axis. Then the equation of line is x cos omega or w plus y sine omega equal p. Equal p. 
So, if you have to apply this case or this condition, you need the perpendicular distance from the origin to a given line. Ye aapko ye pass hona chahiye. Means that is P. And the angle made by this perpendicular distance with the positive direction of x axis. Then the equation of line will be x cos omega plus y sin omega equal t. Now if this is the case, the line is like this. So remember the distance from the origin means perpendicular distance. Let this point as b its distance and what about omega as I have told it here with the positive direction of x axis means the line this perpendicular distance angle made by this with the positive direction of x axis. So this should be the omega. So you have to be very careful while uh, substituting the value of omega. Similarly if this is the case and from the origin the distance is P, let this point as B, the perpendicular distance on the given line is P. Now, what should be the omega here? This line ka, ye jo perpendicular line hai, this line with the positive direction of x axis means from here to here. This should be omega. Positive direction of with x axis anti clockwise. So you have to be very careful while taking the value of omega or w here. Okay. So these are the six different type of cases to find out the equation of lines under given condition. So whatever be the condition given. According to that condition, you will apply the formula. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you and have a nice day.